It is now time for What's Hot, where we talk about the stories that have everybody talking. Today we're joined by Barb Bartline from The People Pro, plus Jeff Wagner is back. So we start with a hot button issue here in Wisconsin. Ads are hitting the airwaves about a possible new casino in Kenosha. Some worry it's going to take jobs away from the casino in Milwaukee. So are we wondering, does Wisconsin have too many casinos at we this point? We have what, 20, 24, 25 right now? Yeah. I, I See, I think this is a marketplace thing, and I understand this. I, I think, quite honestly, the chances of the governor approving a new casino in Kenosha are probably remote. That said, I think I disagree with the governor. I think what's happening is you build that casino in Kenosha, what's going to happen is you're going to attract a lot of gamblers coming up from Illinois. And if we don't do it, what you're going to see in Illinois is they're going to build some more casinos to try to keep their gamblers home. I would go ahead and do it. I just think it's a marketplace thing. Um, again, if people don't want to go to gamble, they won't, and the casinos will fold. Well, I, I disagree, Jeff. I, I think casinos are basically a tax on the poor. A lot of what the casinos sell is this idea that you can get rich quick and you're going to be lucky. And and what, what do they say with Potawatomi? Pays big. You know, I visited casinos. They don't pay big. You lose your money for the most part. I think it's a tax on the poor and I don't think we need another casino. Well, I guess the question becomes, though, Barb, who decides that? I mean, look, yeah. you, you know, the, the question becomes, um, okay, maybe you think that is a dumb way for people to spend their money, and I, I respect that. I happen to think playing the lottery is a dumb way to spend money. Some people think it's dumb to go out and buy high-end glasses of beer, whatever. I mean, if people want to do this, I, I think that they should have a right to do it as long as it's legal. Well, yeah, but I think it targets a population that really doesn't have the money, for the most part, to be gambling. Sure, there's some people that go to the casino and it's simply discretionary money, mm -hmm. but I'm afraid I've seen too much of the result of it. My husband was a teacher in MPS, and kids would come to school without their lunch money because their parents gambled the money away. So do you think that building, not building one in, in Wisconsin will stop people from going across the state line and, and doing the same thing in Illinois? I mean, do you think that would be a bit of a deterrent or are they still going to gamble oh. because it's within driving distance? Yeah, you see, people are, still gamble. Yeah, people, people will still gamble. I mean, that's that's what, what the Potawatomi are arguing is that, the, I mean, I understand they're trying to protect their interests. They're afraid that the general rule is you don't drive past one casino to get to another. They're afraid that what's going to happen is some of the people from the southern part of Wisconsin and Illinois, they're not going to drive up to Milwaukee. People aren't going to gamble less. Um, I do think if you don't build that casino and Illinois does jump in with both feet, which what, what is they're the going to do, result, mm -hmm. really. well, right, except you're going to have fewer Illinois people coming up to drop, give us their money. Well, there's already that new casino in, was it Rosemont, not far from the airport, yep. stopping right. people from driving north. So Yeah, and they want to build more river boats, I think, and let them run 24 hours a day. Sure. Right. All right, coming up next, should drivers be going full speed ahead on some of our roads. You pick this topic, we'll talk about it coming up next. Now more of what's hot in our viewers choice topic of the day. Again, we have Barbara Bartline, she's the people pro and Jeff Wagner is back. Okay, drivers, you get a chance to sound off tomorrow on a Republican bill that would raise Wisconsin's speed limit. That bill would change the state's maximum 65 mile per hour speed limit to 70 on freeways and highways with four or more lanes. You don't do 65 anyway. So what? Are we going to? We're, we're the That's limit to 70, and now it. you'll do 80. I, I just totally don't understand this one. Um, you know, originally, weren't we at 70 or 75 for a while, and then they lowered it to 65? As I recall, the two driving issues were one energy consumption, saving gas, and B, safety, or number two, safety. So my question is, have those things changed? I mean, uh, do we, are we no longer concerned about gas, uh, well, I guess you know, the availability? That, if that's the argument or, you're going to make, should we make, should we make so it 30 safe, miles we can go hour? whatever yeah. speed we want? <coughs> well, we're not if talking that's about, the case, well, I vote we don't have yeah. any speed limit, look, like the Autobahn or something. Look, so I'm not clear line. on this one. Well, here, here's the bottom line. Um, most of the surrounding states have, to have speed limits that are 70 or more. You're, you're right, Barb, that originally it was energy conservation, but quite frankly, cars are much more energy efficient now. These freeways, not every road around here, but the freeways were made to be safe at speeds exceeding 70 miles an hour. I just think it's silly to have an artificially low limit. I would determine what's the safe speed, but then you know enforce it. I mean, I think 70 on a lot of the freeways in Wisconsin makes a ton of sense. They did this when I was in Nebraska. I mean, you had to get outside yep. city limits between oh. Omaha and Lincoln, Nebraska, mm -hmm. sure. and I don't recall there being right. any 
problems. Yeah, no, obviously, I mean, you, you had to pay attention for when, for when that kicked in. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, and they have it in Wyoming, where you can you can go just about any speed and well, they, not yeah, get that's, stuck. That's yeah. a little extreme. Yeah. Right. <laughs> they went from 65 to 70 right. in Nebraska for a stretch. Right. Mm. So the question is, when will the trooper pull you over if the limit is 70? Well, I so, think you know, it's, it's 65. 75. Now. Probably. I think they give uh, you what set, five. You got to get about a 10 mile an hour cushion right now. Uh, but it, yeah. they might not because that bumps you to 80. They might. Yeah. Right. No. I mean, I think I mean, part of it is, I think also part of it depends on how erratically you're driving and things like that. But, I mean, th there's stretches, Wisconsin roads like Madison going out to Eau Claire and La Crosse. People there's, are doing 80. Yeah, exactly. And there's no reason why you should have to drive 65. 80, I'm not going to argue for. All right, it's time for our lightning round. A new wedding trend on the horizon. Couples who split the price of an engagement ring. Huh. I think, should I be guessing at what the two guys are going to say here? <laughs> no, I, I, I'm saying, I mean, this is, see, I'm just trying to imagine, like, broaching this whole concept. To me, it's like, you know, call 1-800-CHEAP-YOU-KNOW-WHAT. I'm, look, if, if you're going to get married, I, I think, you know, you should pick up the tab for the ring. Even if it's a small one, mm -hmm. that means you upgrade somewhere down the line. Go ahead and do it. But I, I can't imagine going Dutch on, on a wedding ring. Well, it kind of takes away the surprise. I mean, then you have to do it together because you have to agree on a price and, and everything. Yeah, I, I don't like the 50-50 idea myself, Jeff. I'm a little surprised. I thought you were going to defend this one. Uh, the only time I see that it's maybe appropriate is if you like inherited a diamond from your grandmother or something right. and you have that set. But even so, I don't want to cough up the bucks when somebody <laughs> wants to marry me. You know, let them do it. Because typically the bride's family then pays for the wedding. Right, well, but, but some but of that's, that's changing changed. too. That is, you know, yeah. that, that's all. I think you know. I think a lot of the conventions have gone, you know, the way of the dinosaur. But still, I'm just trying to picture from a guy's perspective. Honey, I love you. I want to spend the rest of my give life me, with give you. Me but half. yeah, give, yeah. <laughs> I, I, right. I yeah. can't even speak here because this is so fresh for me. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you both. The what's hot discussion will continue. Well, I think online. there's a story here. Wait. Yeah, I think there is too. Still hurting. Oh.